All right, guys, well, shoot, you guys probably want to hear about camp, don't you? So, I did, you know, I tell you what, defensively, guys, we, we had a very productive camp. I thought the guys were physical. Uh, Coach Elliott put them in really challenging positions. Uh, we got better at all the spots, and uh, we're excited now to transition for some opponents. And these guys have earned the opportunity to now go to Scott Stadium and the great venues across this country and then also in the ACC to go play at a really, really high level. And uh, so we're, we're looking forward now to transition to some game planning. You know, I, I think that we've got, you know, we've got, you know, four or five guys that can compete at a high level. I think that, uh, you know, that, that's a position you got to be really, really good at. And, uh, you know, I think we've got a great collection of guys that are looking forward to go compete this season. That's the, that's the fun thing about uh, coaching football is, is you got to move all your pieces around. Um, you know our defensive roster is what it is at this point, and uh, we're excited about you know a bunch of guys at safety, at linebacker, at D line um, that have an opportunity to be really really productive, um, and that's your, our ultimate goal as we go into the fall. You know, you just look at Paul. I mean, he's a young man that, uh, you know, has a master's degree here from the University of Virginia. Um, you, I just look at Ben. Um, you, both guys just just so sharp and great workers. And I'm excited to see the things they're going to accomplish this fall. How has the transfer defensive back fit into your game? The, you know, I, they fit in because they love to compete. They they love football. And, and frankly, they, they, they can't wait to bleed here for the University of Virginia. Are they competing for starting jobs? Uh, they, they are. Yeah. They are. Yes, sir. Are you relieved uh, concerning Chico Bennett's news that he seems to be coming along faster? You know, if, if anyone's going to heal fast, it's Chico. Uh, he's, he's blessed with, uh, with great genes. And any time he's had a bump or a bruise, he's found a way to get back on the field really, really quick. You know, Sam Westfall's played a ton of football. Um, and so situationally, he does a really, really good job of understanding what the offense wants to accomplish. Um, and, and then also does a really, really nice job of winning one on ones. Coach Elliott said something about Braille being tough when moving to the edge. Um, have you heard seen from his development? Have you got first saw that he's going to play inside or outside? What can he play inside? Yeah, you know, Terrell can play inside, he can play outside. Um, I'm just I'm excited to see how he matures and continues to develop this fall and, uh, you know, continues to earn his opportunity to be part of this great program. In your early prep for, for Tennessee, what, what stands out about the offense? Is it the tempo? Or is, it, is it something else? What, what, what's possible about Tennessee's offense? Really? You know, they, they do a tremendous job. Uh, you know, they're, they're explosive. Uh, they got good talent. They got good schematics. And uh, it's, it's a challenge we're, we're really excited to be able to, uh, to get ready for. And I know our guys are excited for the opportunity to, to go out and compete against a different color jersey. Because uh, I, I know after, after 16 practices of fall camp, 15 practices of spring ball, it, it's about time this year to, 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 to see you know, what, what we can go accomplish against some other talent. Who has made the biggest leaps in your mind in training camp? Um, you know, shoot, I, actually there's a young lady that uh, works with us in the secondary. She's our equipment manager, Paige. She's, I tell you what, she's made some great strides. You talk about effort and flying around. I mean, she's signaling for us. She's in the master's program here at the, uh, you know, for the health scientists. I mean, shoot, she's done a tremendous job as a, in equipment. Um, as a player, I'll, I'll, I'll answer your question with as, as just as a player. Um, you know, I think, you know, shoot, a, you know, young man, and I call him a young man, but he's one of our mature men is, uh, you know, Cam Butler's done a really nice job leadership wise. And it really excited for him as, you know, he gets another opportunity to come back here and be part of this university for him to put his best football um, on film and, and to be able to go compete. What's the biggest difference with him if he has to play that bandage spot week one with going from the traditional end spot to bandage? There's a ton of carryover. Um, it, you know, the biggest difference probably is potentially what stance you might be using. Um, but he's a versatile athlete that allows him to, 
to be able to be in a two point or a three point. Um, and again, the great thing is, is he can play multiple spots in that front, um, which allow us to move him around. And it'll be uh, it, it'll be fun to to put him in some different positions and create some matchups for him to win. What have you seen from James Jackson and, and Josh Avon as they kind of step up in that position? You know, Coach Elliott preaches on it that we need leadership at that inside linebacker position. Um, they're they're two guys that. You know, being here from the state of Virginia, it is really, really important to represent that V Sabre. And they bring the, the leadership that you'd want to, re to represent that V Sabre in the middle of Scott Stadium. What's your depth like? Uh, Tennessee will be obviously playing a high tempo game. Uh, or do you think you have enough depth to keep the fresh guys in there against that tempo? We've been conditioning. It's been a long off season. I tell you what, I, in, I I believe in Coach Smother, Ben. I believe in this coaching staff, and uh, I know we're, we're excited for the challenge. You certainly have a lot of depth, it seems like, in the front seven. Are they ready for what Jerry was just alluding to? Because it's, it's different out there than it's going to be in Nashville, and it's, you know, you've got to move. Yeah, we, that's, that, that's the exciting challenge that we have in front of us, and I know that we're excited, you know, for that opportunity, and I know we've got a lot of competitors in that locker room that, that look forward to the opportunity. Two of the older defensive backs, I've mentioned they've been impressed by DeAndre Walker, a freshman. Has he, has he stood out to you at all? And then you saw what, what, what made him a uh, freshman that could possibly impact you guys this year. You know, we, you know, Coach Elliott and I went down uh, to just north of Charlotte to watch a, a football game here a year ago. And we went to watch Keandre Walker. And we, we got to stand on that sideline. He's a young man that when the ball's in his hand, or he's playing against receiver, he can make a ton of plays. And in that game, we watched him get an, a pick six. Um, we also watched him have three touchdown passes. And so, you know, I think just from an evaluation standpoint, he's super explosive um, and he's a, he's a great young man. And I know that, you know, more importantly, he's gonna be a great student when he starts class tomorrow. Cam Robinson continues to impress you. Yeah, he flies around. He is, he is fun. I mean, it, he's a guy that loves ball. Um, he might he, uh, even uh, he might have got too aggressive a little bit with one of the quarterbacks the other day. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know what? That's, that's the type of competitor he is. And uh, you know, I know there's a bunch of young guys that we have in that locker room that are excited for the opportunity to, to earn a spot um, to play for this great university.